Good day, friends. Good day, lovely humans. Hope you enjoy your every moment. I hope you enjoy your every breath that you take. I hope you enjoy your heart's beat. And I hope you enjoy the sun that shines on your feet. This is only if you go barefoot, as most of the people here in South Africa or in some kind of you know, flip-flop sandals and so on. If they're not heavy workers or enslaved by the corporations. I've met a barefoot cook or chef. So I said, I'll probably take a slice of your name and I make it but naked cook, because this is the way how I like to cook. But it's all for the private audience. And um, well, it's not a really a nice view with a lot of hair and so on. But the food become quite a spectacle. It's tasty. It's really infused with all my kindness and wisdom and spitefulness, spicefulness, better to say. Because I have a, such a choice now of beautiful vegetarian meals or vegetarian parts to add into a beautiful meals that I'm making. We really enjoy cooking and we enjoy enjoying eating. So this is the part of the life that we completely switch from eating for the sake of surviving into eating for the full joyful experience. So fries is the new, let's say, main meat producer, which has no meat with it, but has 60 different products in 26 countries, as I know of, they're distributing beautiful organic steaks they are from the vegetables uh, even Indian kind of mixtures of the spices inside like a curries um, like a chicken strips if you let's say pro American way so hamburgers they're not hamburgers they are veggie burgers but they are beautiful I mean they are absolutely clean clean of any fear that animals could, you know, get into your body while they've been killed, their blood drained, their organs taken. So this video is dedicated to my beautiful friend from Croatia, Nevin, and he's absolutely full awakening into a being that he truly is. So thank you, Nevin. Title? Insignificance of one existence or audacity to live honestly. Many big words. Not too much sense why we live so poorly. I mean, poorly spiritually and poorly financially, let's say, materialistically. Why are we always in struggle? Why are we always in lack? Why are we never consider? Why are we never consider that we can choose differently? That we can choose no lack or abundance? or no illness, or healthiness, or let's say being constantly depressed, or suppressed, or imprisoned, and to change it to something of an opposite value. So, what's the opposite of fear? Peace. What's the opposite of lack? Peace. What is the opposite of uh, bad health or ill health? Peace. 
mean, I'm generalizing and I'm, I'm mocking pretty much our existence and our exuberant ways of using language to complicate without even knowing why we're complicating our life. Why we don't turn everything really upside down, what we've learned, and just throw it in the garbage. Because whatever we're doing was not creating peace. It was always going in an opposite direction. We were just like slamming our physical body, our emotional, mental bodies with such a troubles, with such a pressure. What time it is? Now? How much do, do you have for whatever? <laughs> Plenty. I don't care. Or maybe, why do you care how much time I have? Take your own business into your hands. So this insignificance of one's existence was a primary technique to enslave us, to keep us constantly running, really like my favorite and very, you know, not pleasantly enslaved animal, little hamster on the hamster wheel, runs like mad, always stays on the same spot. And then Epiphany hits the little hamster and he walks out and he goes, the wheel goes and it stops. So suddenly time stops and the hamster says, Look, I can live in the present moment. I don't have to chase a next, you know, step on this ladder that goes in circle. So after 33 steps, I'm on the same spot. Yeah, 30 seconds later, I'm again on the same spot. What did I achieve? What I'm doing? Exercising? Meditating? I don't know, exciting myself? Because it's pretty much being boring if you live in prison. But prison is not the cage that is around the hamster. A prison is within the hamster's mind. Thinking that he has to run and run and run. Run for the money. Run for success. Run for better Medicare. What if I tell you that Obamacare or this stupid care that they were charging exuberant amount of money to all of you through the tax dollars, of course, will be totally abolished? Because nobody will be actually asking to be healed through these manners, through these kind of approaches. They will choose differently, starting with Americans, and Trump will give them a nice boost. Today, beautiful new message comes up that his new executive order will bring pretty much equality to all of the American people to have a decent life. So they will start receiving, let's say, a form of universal basic income, but it will be called differently. So first he has to do the cleanup of massive amount of uh, double, triple, you know, quadruple charges and the offices, they were just breeded from nowhere to do what? To distribute a little crumbs to the people they deserve much more because this was their money. This is the money of their ancestors. This is the money of all the people that were working before them. For 30, 40 years, people work and when they reach retirement, what they got? Their pension funds were abused by the big corporations, by big hedge funds, by big, big financial uh, thieves. And now they have none. Or they thought so. Or these financial corporations want to show you that nothing left. But I tell you different. We have all this money. Trump has all this money. All your hard work is really going to go back to you. And you'll be the one in charge of it. Not some hedge fund managers or 
some freaking banksters who just do this for the sake of because you allow them. Now Trump will give you a chance to reclaim your life. So the only way it's the second part of the title, the audacity, audacity to have a decent and honest life. First of all, you don't live if you are not honest. You don't live if you are a thief. You don't live if you a cheat. Cheat in any kind of ways. You don't live if you are sick. Not sick just mentally, I mean, ah, you're a sick person. Of course, everybody, if you point fingers, is sick. But anyway, the most of the fingers pointing back to you. You're the most sick person if you're calling everybody around is sick. So once when you realize that you can cure this by yourself, within yourself, and become an example of health, prosperity, abundance, and most of all, peace. So there's nothing, absolutely nothing, that can throw you off. No fake news media throwing a, you know, a third and seventh world war, war, war that it's raging, you know, and it's going to happen in Syria, Afghanistan, Serbia, Monaco, I don't know where, Switzerland maybe. They want to raise war in Switzerland? Sure. Who against who? You cannot. Because Switzerland is set up better democratically than any other country. It's 27 individual cantons. They pretty much live, you know, in a nice cohabitat, but they don't respond to each other. They have their own kind of internal governments. They have their own decisions makers. They have to, to respect only their people who live inside their cantons and they are very well protected by any forms of immigration through the law, not through the heavy military flying jets and like bombers and so on. What say all this NATO kind of style of uh, bullying people around that you have to have a heavy military to not to be invaded or attacked. No, what they're doing, whatever doing, they, were, they had a heavy military to attack everybody else. Doesn't matter. US, Britain, France, Spain, go through the history, go all the way back, and you'll see this was the only way why they're building a military complex to attack another nation, to produce fear, to produce terror. So they were anti peace establishments. They're antithesis of the peace. And peace you can get within if you start being honest with you. Start slowly. Start being honest with yourself, recognizing that you're sick from greed, materialism, jealousy, competition. Pretty much you are sick of usefulness or non-useful life. That you're sick with insignificance of your own life. Until you change until you decide to do something different with your life. First step, start being in peace. Second step, continue being in peace. And third step, stay there and don't care for whatever other people say and do around you. It's poetry ad hoc. The wave is nothing but the form, form that lasts a second, maybe a minute or so. It will never be the same, one after the other, so all the shape, the veins of the world, crushing against the shore that is changing without a noticing. It changed so fast that you need a millions of years to see a difference, to see the beauty that it stands like a rock, rock against the wave or wave for the rock. Who's caressing who? 
who's penetrating who. I say they are working in collusion. They are working in cooperation. They are really not working. But they are just playing with each other's forms. As this beauty will never be recorded again in the form that it was right now. Our blessings to the wave and the rock, to the sun and the creation. Aiko and three quarters, wave without a form. Wave has nothing to do but to wave. Wave to the bystanders, wave to the passengers, the temporary dudes hanging around watching its beauty without knowing why. Why this thing is so powerful, yet nobody dares to question why this wavy thing has nothing to do but to wave. Wave you goodbye of the old times that never been here. Aiku in 5.8 Paper, scissor, rocks or waves the rock and the fork which one you will play? who is the strongest of the all? The rock, the wave, or the fork? I say both, or all the three of the same, because the same is so different that nothing can be compared with each other. Yet same is all created by the same force of creation. Creation is not always a form that we can remember. Yet, the things we can remember is what we see in front. The moment of now. The moment of now. And the moment of now. Can you catch the wave? I guess you could. I guess we can try. Can we capture the power that is so fluid, like leaks around the hardness of the rock? Yet it's forming such a beautiful picture for us to enjoy for a moment or two, or maybe for a minute. Or two. Yet the capturing the wave is the only way to take a snapshot of its moment that beauty is everlasting moment of now.